following YouTube as well. The moment has arrived. My charger arrived last night. It's one of those USB chargers that plugs in, and so my battery is fully charged, and I've got to put it in. And uh, the magazine, I've put 30 ball bearings in it, steel ball bearings, 6mm. Uh, I know the magazine holds 150, but uh, I've only put 30 in because that's what the original held and it's the first time I'm going to shoot it with steel ball bearings in. I did have a go last night with the uh, the plastic BBs. had a, a stoppage and I had to poke in there with the, with the, with the screwdriver to shift the ball. Um, but apart from that it fired fine, it fired on semi and full auto and I discovered that what I was trying to do that was do control bursts in full auto and that seemed to work really well on a paper target um, but it was too dark to film anything so and the uh, the battery took two hours to charge so today I'm gonna it's not really ideal it's blowing a hoolie outside there's it's got wind and rain and that sort of carry on which isn't ideal but I want to take a few pot shots and uh, get the ball rolling so let's get on with it let's get the battery in the bot and it's um, get us in the back end here. I'll tell you what though, I did notice last night when I was shooting. I bet I fired 150 um, plastic BBs. And then when I went to put the battery back on charge, it said green. It said it's fully charged. So. What I'm gathering by that is it didn't take much out of the battery, which is really promising because um, perhaps the battery will last a lot longer than I thought. Don't forget CO2 with the gas, um, 40 BBs and, and the on full auto, the, the, the gas is gone. Single shot, you can stretch it out to about 60, but certainly no more than 60. So, without further ado, I'm going to open the doors and I've got a two litre pop bottle at the end of the garden and I'm going to see if I can burst it. Okay, well that's disappointing. I've fired ten shots and you could see the steel ball bearings bouncing off the uh, plastic pop bottle which is a great shame. So I'm going to try a can of Spain's most horrible beer which we know the gas, the CO2 can blow a hole straight through this. Doing single shots as well by the way. It did actually burst it, it did actually burst the can. Safety catch on. So that's not too bad, but uh, it's not really ideal. I don't think it likes the steel BBs as much as the, the plastic ones. So I'll, I'll set up a few more cans and see, uh, give it a bit of a burst. Okay, so I'm going to revert back to uh, the plastic balls. It doesn't seem to like this steel one. I mean it works, it will fire them, but I'm really not impressed.
Yes, he definitely likes the plastic BBs a lot better. <laughs> Which leaves me with one dilemma, doesn't it? Um, that's to get the broom handle Mauser out and see if I can finish off that pop bottle. Okay, let's find out. So I put a CO2 in there and tightened it up, but I can still hear it leaking. Well, there's the proof of the pudding, the, uh, the broom handle won't puncture it either. So, they will puncture beer cans, so they're not that powerful, are they? They're not. They're really not. But it's a great toy. It's a great fun toy. And the weather today is horrible, so I'm going to knock it on the head and we'll resume our shooting on another day. <laughs>